Hello everybody, Brian Goulet here of GouletPens.com and I'm here with Dante Del Vecchio of Penider all the way from Florence, Italy. Dante, thank you so much for coming all the way to the U.S. Hello, Brian. <laughs> Hello to everybody and thank you for hosting me once again. Absolutely. Uh, I'm very excited to be here with you oh, and it's always talk a pleasure. to you about my new uh, project, dreams, and uh, you know, emotions. Why not? <laughs> yes, you're always cooking up something interesting. So, um, you know, you came around this time last year. You introduced us to, to the the pen filler, yeah. the snorkel, the uh, avatar, and you're here to talk about some changes you've made to the avatar uh, and some new things that you're cooking up. So. Yeah. I need to keep you always excited, otherwise <laughs> you will not invite me anymore. Well, that's not that hard to get me excited, right? So, um, yeah, so please, let's, let's talk about this avatar, because um, you've, uh, you've done some interesting things here, and you've got it all blown apart. You're going to show us how you put it so, together. Wh why do you prepare this set for me, you know? With all, all, all the pen and all the part, the, the, we, want, we don't want to put a Pinader assembling line in, in Goulet. That's right. You sell a lot of our pens, but... <laughs> I think it's easy if we send you the pens already assembled from uh, I think my from team Italy. Would, my team would probably prefer that too. So. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> yeah, but it's really interesting because it's not often that we get to see, you know, kind of from conception of an idea all the way through to final assembly of a pen. And that's really kind of the journey you want to take us on here today. I, I think that uh, when I made the avatar the first time was just, uh, you know, to test uh, all the parts and the, con the concept before going into the real you know pen now we have finally we have a, a pen that took me over one year of my uh, time to develop yes. to get to the to the final stage and first of all we're talking about an everyday use pen yes this is your daily mate this mm -hmm. is your companion to amica yes <laughs> and this is like a more affordable range pen too. it's absolutely for mm -hmm. pinai there is mm -hmm. an entry level yes so it's a pen that you are going to put in your bag or in your uh, briefcase in mm -hmm. your pocket but mm -hmm. has to be what is you the morning when you get up is the first thing you take when you go to the office yes so this is i think when we, I design a pen, you know that I've ma been making the pens very expensive in my life. Absolutely. So when I think to this kind of pen, I do not, I'm not thinking to, uh, I would say, a very important limited edition. I think to a material that should be, first of all, you know, uh, uh, very resistant mm -hmm. to the daily things that happen to the pen. That mm -hmm. means to fall down probably for, from your uh, desk. Sure. Uh, sometimes they fall down from uh, the car. Mm. You live in the cockpit of your car because mm -hmm. you forget it, mm -hmm. you know, or uh, what is the daily stress of- Yeah, uh, you could drop uh, it in the parking uh, lot. Yeah, exactly. Or poor pen. Exactly, <laughs> <laughs> that's right. You know, the, the fortune of the watch was the wrist that was hooking the watch <laughs> today. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but to, to a pen, they still, <laughs> unfortunately, they fall down sometimes. And yes. By the by, the history we know that in the past there was a key point when pens were a daily, you know, not writing instrument was a daily need. Mm, yes, like courses, you know. Absolutely, <laughs> just like you now, you have your phone that has the, you know, the crack resistant screens and exactly. these types of things. It's exactly. an everyday tool. Yeah, everyday tool. Mm -hmm. So in the past, uh, there have uh, been uh, material like celluloid. Sure. That was conceived not only because of the beauty, mm. but because of the high resistance to heat. Mm. And uh, I see that you have an ad. Yes, which you were so kind to bring. <laughs> nice so segue you there. Yeah. go around with these ads or what? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And uh, uh, this is an old ad of part of 1925, 1927, that to test the resistance of the uh, celluloid throwing the pen from the Grand Canyon, mm -hmm. or I think you have more mm -hmm. underneath, yep. oh, from a plane, from an airplane. So they would actually- 3,000 feet. They would actually drop this from an airplane to test uh, it. I guess, yeah, I guess. They, <laughs> or at they least did. they did for the ad anyway. <laughs> yes. It sounded good. <laughs> and uh, this is 25, you know, uh, 25 stories. stories. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, we don't have 25 stories here. Maybe we could get up on the roof. In Pinay, there'd be a three one. stories. <laughs> and I did it. <laughs> you did it. Yeah, you I were telling it. me. You're in the middle of a meeting and you just threw it out the window, right? <laughs> what, what I want to introduce is a material that is as, bu as, bu as beautiful as celluloid, yes. but resistant as celluloid, but not so expensive okay. like celluloid. Yes. This is an everyday pen. Is uh, uh, I can 
call it uh, uh, probably unbreakable, hmm. that uh, even under the wheel of your car will uh, resist. Interesting. Well, so we'll this is something, we'll something really new and interesting. Hmm. Now, uh, I think that uh, in your uh, uh, movies here, mm -hmm. in your chat, we never have been seen in making a history of a pen from the project. No, we've shown bits and pieces, I've talked about it, but we've never well, had somebody walk us all the way through. When I think to this kind of pen, I have to think something, you know, first of all, with a good selling point, mm -hmm. it has to be a very nice pen. Mm -hmm. So the outlook is the first point. Then I want to give my customer the safety to have something that will last for a long time. Mm -hmm. so long lasting means, you know, something that will stay with you, with you all your life. Mm -hmm. And the uh, uh, second point has to be something that has to be affordable, so the project cannot be complicated. It yeah. can be uh, easy to, to, to make, to manufacture, so good quality for a long time and easy assembling. Yes. And this is uh, the first pen in the market that I can probably tell you is glueless. No glue whatsoever. There is not a drop of glue in all the pen. I can put the pen together and I will do for you. Okay. Uh, just to show you how we can assemble the pen without using a single drop of glue. So is that glue. common for those of that aren't as familiar with how pens are made? Is that common to have glue as, as a component of holding the pen together? Yes, absolutely. It's, mm. it's common. It's, uh, gluing is one of the most f difficult things to do in the pen industry. Mm. And uh, is uh, a, a way to put together different parts of different material. Sure, okay. That usually uh, cannot, be, cannot stay together. Mm. Uh, in the former times, uh, there was a system to shrink rings around the caps mm. to reinforce the cap. Mm. But don't forget, Brian, that the ring of the, pa of the cap is not only a question of beauty. Yes. It's a reinforcement to the cap. It strengthens it, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Especially if it's a twist and you're in, really in ratcheting it down. In the former pens, uh, mm -hmm. the, the screwing was one of the few ways to, to, to make a quick closing of the pen, mm -hmm. even before there was a snap system or mm. this kind of modern plastic. Or a magnet. Or a magnet, <laughs> or a magnet. So therefore, in uh, 1920, the screws were uh, always at the end of the cap, mm. and the ring were always over the screws to reinforce that portion that was always weak, mm. because a thinner wall of the material, and also with the, the threads cut, mm -hmm. uh, was even worse. Mm. And where the most the power and the effort of the pen is right in the middle in yes. every pen. Yes. So my intention uh, today was not only to design and to ex to, de to explain to you how mm -hmm. I design uh, you know a pen, but also to see how it's possible to go uh, through a modern 3D project mm. from a, a sketch to a real pen. Okay. So an insight into the minds of Dante Del Vecchio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, everything is here. Right? Yeah, you that's know? right. <laughs> There's a lot going on up there. All right, so starting off here, this is the first drawing that you made for the Avatar, correct? For the Avatar, yeah. yeah. This is when, when I was thinking to a feather, mm -hmm. young, for younger people. Mm -hmm. You know, you have been, you know, you know the great beauty, mm -hmm. La Grande Bellezza, yes. that is more elegant, even the clip is different because it's more complicated. Mm -hmm. When I think to this, uh, to a clip like this, I was thinking to a mechanism that mm -hmm. has to be because I don't like flexible clip that after some time they bend and they right. don't stick to your, to the, your tissue, to your pocket anymore. Mm -hmm. But most of all, remember that all the clip I've designed in my life are not aggressive with the tissue of your, uh, Mm. of your suits. Right. This right. means you can use as many times as you want in your internal pocket mm. or external. I like ex external mm -hmm. because the clip function, you know, is so important. Mm. It hooks the pen to your uh, uh, um, dress. Yes. But at the same time, this this wide opening, it allows mm -hmm. you this without looking, you know, you can put yes. it. And you can put it on thicker materials like a suit jacket. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And you know, we always make the lower part very flat mm -hmm. to avoid damaging. Yes. But also, this very wide opening mm -hmm. allows you to have a very practical use of the pen with an effort, with pleasure. Yes, absolutely. Because I told you already, everything of a pen has to be connected with pleasure. Mm. A lady last year told me, Dante, 
to write to write it relaxes me hmm. so this is the nicest thing i ever heard <laughs> to write and relax that's wonderful it's wonderful we hear that all the time absolutely so this is actually is my pen okay this is the first drawing that's the first drawing you did and so where does it go from here you come up with a concept this is kind of a sketch a technical drawing okay of the pen with all the different parts combined together and this is a 3d drawing just to show even better how the pen is made inside no the clip mm. the spring the um, the needle of the clip and all the different parts that makes the pen and the, you can see here in front of you yeah and there's a lot to consider here because you have to think about how it's going to cap how far the nib is going to go so it doesn't hit the top if we want to count you know one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fourteen pieces fourteen pieces that we go together without using any glue wow well, i'm very eager to see how this works this is a pen that, uh, differently from the old avatar that was turned. Yes. This is injection molded. Okay. Injection molded gives us uh, some advantages and some disadvantages. Okay. The advantage is to have a very, very good quality, very a constant quality of the, of the, of the, of the part mm -hmm. because are molded. Mm -hmm. But the disadvantage, we have to invest a lot of money sure. to create the mold. And the mold is not easy to make. This is the mold I've made in Pinaide. So to, to very oversimplify it, it's a large chunk of metal yes. <laughs> that the resin is injected into, into the shape of the pen, the shape of the body of the pen. It cools, and then you have pen, uh, basically a finished this pen piece. This would say a very out. simple way to describe Extremely it. Extremely <laughs> oversimplified. But that's the idea, is that there, this there machine... There is a computer that keeps the resin at a certain temperature. Yes. Of course, there is a female that makes the outer part, and the male who makes the inside part. Mm -hmm. the, the computer keeps the resin at a certain temperature. It's injection molded. Mm -hmm. It takes a time for cooling. And the mold is cooled from all this, you see, tubes that you can see around, because the temperature has to be very constant Yes. to guarantee that every pen is exactly the same of each other. Interesting. So this is the kind of thing you wouldn't do this for a limited edition pen where you're making 88 pieces, this is something where you need to produce a lot of them to spread out the cost of I, I such course, development. Yeah, because uh, it's not only the cost of the mold, mm -hmm. but to conceive the mold. Yes, <laughs> all the engineering and all that, absolutely. That is my work. <laughs> yes, and it takes a while to do this. You said it was, what, a year or so of development? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Actually, this mold was ready in uh, July last year, Wow. but it took me yeah. another four months to make it work properly. To do adjustments the, and fine-tuning. adjustment, and polishing inside. Mm. The, the mold inside has to be like a mirror. You yes. know, perfectly polished, you know. Mm. It's difficult work and mm. uh, very few persons in Italy can work in this kind of molds. Wow, it's fascinating. And usually in Florida we don't have, you know, we have to send outside sure, to sure. a special company to complete the work. Mm. And uh, you, uh, later on we are going to show the full collection. Mm -hmm. But this is, I think we have finish the introduction we yes. can go straight on on the assembly yeah eh? please do show me show no, me how this works. what is nice here that i will use only this little hammer oh come on are you I sure need, i need i need to press parts together i mean I, I brought this i didn't know if you wanted to really give it a good test we could uh okay so in this case you know i know that you are a serious guy <laughs> and I, I will not joke with you anymore <laughs> That's right. When I was you're really scaring me this time. This that's round. right. That's right. I did come prepared. You know. <laughs> but that's okay. We'll stick with the appropriately sized hammer for the job. But uh, probably I have to, t to warn you, if you're going to use that, you would destroy the table. <laughs> I'll as well. probably destroy and the, the table. The table belongs to you. <laughs> or my fingers. So we'll, we'll save that. Yeah, exactly. Now, uh, the pen is going to be assembled without the need of other tools except the, the hammer that mm -hmm. will help me to put the parts together. Mm -hmm. The first thing I'm going to do is to put the ring. This is the metal ring that mm -hmm. is magnetic steel okay. that will help me to join the body of the pen together with the cap. Okay. So that basically just pressure fits? Pressure fit. Onto there. 
tip. Now, is there any concern of that coming off? Because it's a magnet, you know, so it's going to have some You can try tension. even with pliers, it doesn't work. No? <laughs> there is a system that the ring can go in one direction, but never come back. Ah, I see, okay. So it's not meant to be removable? No. It's just meant to no. be press, it, press fit. Some parts are screwed in, so okay. are removable. Okay. But uh, uh, the part that should not be removable are in made in a way that we go in, but we never come out. Come out. So I mean, obviously a lot of people notice, but you were actually hammering the pen itself mm -hmm. when you were doing that. So I'm hammering the pen. <laughs> That's not probably the, typical for most pen assembly but processes. But this, this pen has no problem with the <laughs> resistance. This is a, a resin that I called ultra resin, mm -hmm. and it's harder than steel. Really? Yeah. Wow. So it makes sense, but I will I will give you a, a, a proof about that that I'm not a liar. Okay, okay. But I know that you trust me. I do. <laughs> I do I'm trust a good you. Guy. I do trust <laughs> you. I trust you. I'll take you at your word. Absolutely. Okay. So what's the next step? Now we we, we assemble the um, the ring mm -hmm. with the magnet. The ring is also holding the magnet. Okay. So to make this, I will use the body. Okay. First, I put. This is the lock ring and the magnet. Here. Okay, makes sense. This so is that's the ring. The, that's what it's going to attach to. Once the ring, you know, cabin. there is the skyline of Florence mm -hmm. engraved on, on the on the ring. The red direction is opposite because this is has to go on the cap. Mm. So you just press it in, give it a twist, and it's locked in. So that's holding the magnet Done. in place, basically. Exactly. Okay. And this is already working. Like there you go. The 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 holding, the the something to the to the body. Mm -hmm. Now we have to put this on the cap. Here we have two directions. Mm -hmm. One is lower a uh, level. Okay. And this is higher level. Okay. The higher level is the place where we want to have the uh, the clip. In the front, I see, and we are going to match here the this pin either name. Ah. The middle is on the E position. Okay. So we put the position of the E right in front of this portion, and that will match it up to the align it with the clip. Exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just can't get over that you're hammering the pen as you're assembling it, but that's but that's look. wild. It's it perfect. looks good. It looks good. So that's just press fit on there too. And is it the same kind of thing oh. like with the magnet? Yeah, look at <laughs> that. Pen is done. <laughs> it's almost it's almost a pen. It's almost a pen. <laughs> now we put this I wanted to add some weight to the pen. Okay. But also has the function to protect the pen. Sure. If the pen falls down from this uh, uh, blind cap, mm -hmm. will be simply, you know, this piece of metal protect the plastic. Okay. So it has a function. Like it really needs it. You were just smacking it with a hammer. But, <laughs> <laughs> but slightly aesthetic too, I get it. The, the more the better. Yeah, you know the same yeah, English. Sure, sure, <laughs> exactly. This is, uh, you know, the, the group that we pre-assembled mm -hmm. in either. Yeah, just, and that screws in. That's pretty screws common, in. yeah. No need to tight. Mm -hmm. This is the converter. Just be careful to catch exactly the lower part. Yeah put it inside, but okay. I will wait because I have to seal the cap. Okay. For technical reason, I need to have a little hole mm. inside of the cap. Okay, why is that? Is, is that for, because the mail should not move while we make the injection mold. So we need to lock the mail inside of the mold okay. from through this little hole. Mm. Okay. So in this case, we need to close the hole because it will uh, just dry the it will dry it out, absolutely, yeah. yeah. So we take this little seal Ah, I was wondering what that was. Put inside. Okay. And I use the converter to press <laughs> this in. How about that? You see? So now it's sealed. Okay. Yeah. Now you can see that, but uh, yeah, that, okay. I and get now it. we can go to put the converter in. Half pen is ready. Wow. Now we have to put the, the assemble of the mechanism of the clip. The good thing in this design, there is no mechanism. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's very simple. Three three parts basically. Absolutely. You take the spring. The yeah. spring. Let's put it inside. Right there. Okay. Take the clip. Put 
for this pin, there's only one direction that fits. Okay. One is big and one is small, so only one size it, it will go. Well, there it is. It works. It works. It's very simple. And we got a pen. Done. Well, that was pretty straightforward. Very cool. If you can post the pen, you will see that mm -hmm. it's perfect posting. Yeah. It sits, it sits, and they put the pen together from 14 different pieces by not putting a single drop of glue. Quickly, safe, mm -hmm. and most of all, if something happens, you can always replace parts hmm. in the pen easily. Fascinating. For example, if you want to uh, let the clip after some time to replace it, still should not happen anything. Mm. It's at least 100 years, but whatever yeah. <laughs> and these are box stainless steel nibs that you're using right yes yeah yes absolutely good stuff we're familiar with those so we know and them right well this is you know what i call unbreakable pen yeah now i'm curious but about this that. is a pen that we like to gift you well I thank you, you that this is <laughs> for uh, brian i'll take it okay okay but now I, I will use my pen you know this is my pen okay and this is some part pen parts i have here Okay. Let's do one test. Sure. One is me, one is you, okay? Fair enough, fair enough. This is what happened. Oh my gosh. <laughs> to any <laughs> pen. This is not something that is going to happen. This is just a demonstration. Sure. <laughs> Most people aren't you want to swinging try this? hammers around. I do, and I actually, uh, I knew that we were going to do this, so I kind of came came prepared with the right attire. I, 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 so. I, I, <sighs> <laughs> You know. Super, <sighs> but you don't need to be super. This is easy to break. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, there it goes. This is regular resins, yeah. most used in the pen industry. Sure. Which will withstand, you know, regular use, but not abuse. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> if you hit the ring, you would break uh, the you break the 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 magnet inside. Right. I don't mind. Just do it. You want me to break your magnet? Yeah, sure. All right, what the heck? I like it. I like it to break things. That's but still not easy to do. Oh, let me try. Just. <laughs> it's too much. Oh, the pen <laughs> it's is right. Right. So if someone comes at you with a hammer and smashes your pen a dozen times, um, you'll still be okay. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Dante, you're too much, man. I don't even think I broke that. It's true, in. unbreakable. I would say so. <laughs> I would say so. Well, you proved me on this one, Dante. You want to try more, <laughs> or you are happy now? I think I'm happy. I think I at think the I'm end happy. you can succeed. <laughs> Nothing is completely unbreakable. <laughs> but what we're talking about, not to hammer a pen like this every day. For all intents and purposes, I would say. And with is, your tools, you'll be more successful. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> or I break the table. <laughs> <laughs> but what we're talking about, we're talking about a pen falling down accidentally. Sure, sure. Even when you go to, the, to your car, in the floor. Yeah. Daily use, this pen is completely unbreakable. I love it. Always coming up with interesting things, Dante. It's <laughs> such a pleasure to have you here. Thank you for giving me the chance Absolutely. again, you know, to show this to your customers and oh, friends. Thank you for being willing to do it. It's fascinating <laughs> to see a little bit of the journey here of the creation of a new magnificent pen like this. And uh, this pen should be available very shortly after this video launches as well. So um, we are we are shipping from Italy. Wonderful. Uh, and I have to warn you, they will be assembled. <laughs> Good. My so, team will be very happy. <laughs> So you don't have to have any extra work. <laughs> That's wonderful. Thank you, Dante. You're welcome. Thanks so much, everybody. You can check out these pens, more about them on gulepens.com. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching, and right on. Ciao. Bye-bye. It was fun. <laughs>